Hello all Contava users. Welcome to the third tutorial on ODX indicators. In this video, we are going to talk about the total buy sell aggregator. Before we talk about this, I just want to remind that uh, ODX is the third party indicator. And once you, when you are subscribing Contava, you need to select any advanced package and then you have to click on the option dynamics indicators because it requires advanced, you, you compulsory need advanced plan then you can sign up and pay you can you will get five percent discount if you use the code odx5 all right so let's dive in the total buy sell aggregator this is this indicator uh to apply let me just remove this indicator first to apply this you have to right click or you can just click here or maybe or you can right click as well so indicators add indicator and here you have to type ODX total buy sell aggregator. Then double click on this and it will open with the settings. This setting pop ups, we need to do a little bit settings here. Uh, similar as I said in the previous tutorial videos, that you can create hot keys for all the settings. So you don't have to do every time. You don't have to do all the settings every time. I'm just explaining the settings, but once you understand this, you can create hotkeys uh, for that. You just need to create right click on the charts, go to the settings and create hotkeys and then do the settings. And once you once you uh, do once you do your settings, just give a uh, just give a key, say shift plus A or shift plus B. And when you press that uh, hotkey, uh, it will apply the indicators with your respective settings. So let us understand the setting. Uh, you have to select the underlier. And then uh, you also have an option to use uh, the uh, say, suppose you are applying this indicator again, or maybe to also check the Nifty Bank or Fin Nifty, you can do that. So here I'm using only for Nifty 50. Let me just select again Nifty 50. However, it is not required. You can keep none as well. Uh, then it also selects the expiry by default. It will select the uh, latest current expiry. Uh, then number of strikes. So for Nifty 16 to 20 strikes is okay. For Bank Nifty 22, 24 strikes is okay. I will just keep 20 strikes as it is. Uh, then you have the bar style. So this color you can change if you want to customize this, you can do that. And then you have data duration. So data duration means that it will show you the data for last two days. And then you have format values for some uh, stocks. If you're checking where uh, maybe not really a lot of buying or selling happening, you may want to see the data in lakhs instead of crores. However, by default, it, it is crores and uh, prefer to use this only. Then you also have uh, settings to highlight thresholds. We will talk about this uh, once we understand about the indicator. So what is this total buy sell indicator? This indicator complements the ODX profile. Uh, if you have attended the ODX profile, uh, you know that it tells you the buying and selling happening in call and put. But which candle to check? Should, sh so sh should you check every candle by clicking uh, on each single candle? No. This aggregator tells you that Wherever the histogram bars are big, you know something has happened. So when you click directly on that particular candle, you see. So you can see the activity here, 14 crore, 15 crore, 16 crore, 20 crore. So uh, this is where the aggregator helps. So what it does is it combines all this data. It combines all this data and show you the total picture. So you can see that the strikes aggregated is from 23,150 to 24. 100 right and this is where the uh, highest activity happening in the options so this is a complete this indicator complements the odx profile because it is nothing but the aggregation of these values only right and now uh, how exactly read this so if you see there is total buy and total sell so total buy is shown upside and total sell is shown downside you can see that the call color is say green and put color is red you can see that there are green on the upside as well and on the downside as well similar say similarly for red now why it is that because uh, they can be selling in call as well right so if i let's say here you can see uh, this let me just click here so you can see a lot of uh, selling happening in the call does this color is on the downside because the below below one shows you the total sell and the upside shows the total buy okay so if there is a buying in the put side that means the red will be on the upside right so you can see here there's a lot of buying happening in the put 
okay and that's why the red color is shown above you can what you can do is you can keep the same color you can keep the same color for this as well so you will clearly know uh just understand this it will there might be some data where uh both of the activities happening for example on this particular candle you can see that there is a selling also and there is a buying also so you will see uh, both the colors as well on some on some uh uh on some histogram you will see both colors that means there was some selling in the call as well there was some selling in the put as well similarly there was some buying in the call and some buying in the put okay so there you will see both the both the uh uh, uh colors but uh, majorly when something is happening uh, it will uh, some uh, big activity is happening it usually all the strikes will be majority of the strikes will show you the uh, same thing so like you can see here this was this th this was a candle where a lot of uh, selling was happening and you can see uh, across all the strikes there was selling happening that's why you will see a really big uh, the call uh, on the downside okay this is the biggest histogram on this particular day similarly this call biggest histogram uh, on this particular day because you can see a lot of buying okay if it's a mixed data so there is a call buying and selling both so it will show you both as well okay so that is how the total buy sell indicator complements the odis profile i would say that this indicator uh, should be used uh, both should be used when you are analyzing market because at the end these are same thing and gives you a better insight and uh, you will you will clearly come to know that which candle to check uh, now for example on this day also i know that these are the candles which are important so i can directly jump and check the data for this right and because the histograms are not really that big because it shows the total value as well you know that even though uh, the highest activity happening on this particular candle may be but uh, the value itself is not really big how do i know about the value you can see the matrix here example if i click if i keep my cursor here just check the value on the cell just check the value on the cell and buying in the put so you can see that there is 67 crores of selling happening in the call and 93 93 crores of buying happening in the put remember these are net values so this helps you to, uh, to understand okay uh, some really uh, major activity happening this also you can highlight so if you go to the settings i would say that you can what you can do is you can enable the thresholds and uh, give the colors which you want say suppose i want to let me let me let me make this a little darker not that bright so you will clearly know and uh, let us let us make this as the brightest one okay so here the picture is clearly visible that these are the important ones right the other ones are uh, not that important on this day you can see there were only two and on the downside and the value is something that you have to do your own research that what value works in the market so currently you can see that the buy threshold was 70 crore and the selling threshold was 50 so whenever the values above 50 crore then only it will show so this was 90 crore say suppose if i put here uh, 100 crore then you can see that it is not highlighting this right so so these values you have to figure out yourself and this works for based on the time frame uh, say if uh, say suppose uh, say this is a five minute time frame but uh, if you are if you are trading based on one minute uh, data uh, you need to find out the uh, values for one minute so it, it it is going to be a smaller lesser value compared to the this one right so i hope this video help you understand about the total buy sell aggregator it is nothing but the aggregation of these values these odx profile values only uh, the calls and puts whatever the buying and selling happening Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.